In this video, I'm going to talk you through how to draw blood from a patient's peripheral IV. So you're gonna gather your supplies, you're gonna have your biohazard bag, you will have your lab requisition, the stickers, the labels. You're gonna go into the patient's room after you've gathered all your supplies. So you have your tubes, you have your vacutainer, you have your alcohol prep, your tourniquet, you've done your hand hygiene, you introduced yourself, and you have to identify with two patient identifiers. So once you've done all that and have done all your marks, you're going to apply the tourniquet. The goal is to make venous congestion, produce venous congestion. So you don't want it tight, too tight to where it's obstructing the arterial or the radial artery um, to where um, it can impair circulation. You wanna be able to palpate the radial artery as I can. I am going to clean the site. So I've already, let's say I've already flushed it. And I'm also gonna do a waste. So I'm cleaning the site. Once time has passed and it is dry, I'm applying my vacutainer, okay? And then I am going to apply my tube. Sometimes you have to pull back on the vein. There we go. Just a little pull back sometimes that works. There's my waist, okay? And then this is where I'm gonna put in my purple top tube. And it is just flowing good. There we go. I am going to disconnect. I'm gonna invert. It says about inversions eight to 10 times, so 180 degrees, not 360. Otherwise, it can produce hemolysis, okay? So I'm gonna release my tourniquet. I am going to release this, and then I'm gonna flush this with 10 cc's of saline, and then I'm going to label my specimen and I'm gonna put this in a biohazard bag and I'm gonna send it to lab. So it'll be labeled. I will make sure I've documented appropriately and I've scanned it and the patient and the label and I send it to lab and then I will wait for my results. Don't forget to check out one of my other videos and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.